Good day. Once again, this is Arvin Alonso demonstrating to you basics of IT application tools. And this time in Microsoft Excel, particularly preparing the frequency distribution of a data set and the histogram. Okay. Say, for example, that you have gathered data. Uh, for example, in this uh, data sheet, we have the age and salary as one of the areas that you gather from your customers in order to conduct, for example, a research study. And since you did not place any age bracket or salary bracket in your questionnaire, instead you would like, you, you wanted to get the exact values, for example, of their age and salary. But in your data analysis, you would present it in bracket using the frequency distribution, then uh, this video presentation would show you, would help you how to prepare frequency dis distribution in Microsoft Excel. Now, so first things first, when we talk of frequency distribution, we try to group data using certain interval or what we call bin or bins. So, for example, in this, we have 15, 20, 25 as our class interval, meaning that is 11 to 15, 16 to 20, and so on and so forth. While, for example, in our salary bracket, we will have uh, a bracketing of less than 30,000, 30,001 to 40,000, and so on and so forth. So, this will be our class interval, okay? So, uh, our bin will be the width of our class interval. And in this case, we will be using bin, uh, the, the, the class interval of 5. Okay. So, when we prepare the frequency here, without manually counting how many uh, customers belong to the bracket of 11 to 15, uh, we make use of frequency function. So first, I will highlight well where I would like to place the frequency values. And then, on my formula bar, you type the formula frequency and then get the data array, the source. So in this example, we have 15 data sets under age. So I will highlight from the first value of age up to the last value okay. anyway if you know the range you can directly type the range so that is b3 to b52 and then comma bins array this will be our bins array so you can type from i3 to i14 or click and drag i3 to i14 close parenthesis do not use enter key because when you use enter key it will not give you the frequency distribution what you're going to press is control shift enter again control shift enter so that the frequency values in all the class intervals in all the bins will automatically uh, be displayed. So I'll press Control, Shift, Enter. So you notice that uh, we have already a frequency distribution 11 to 15. There are no customers between 11 to 15, 16 to 20. There are five customers, and so on and so forth. So that we can check if our frequency distribution is really working using the function frequency. Say, for example, I will change this value. 55. 55 falls under 51 to 55. There are currently three customers under this age bracket. I will change it into 15. So, I will press enter. Notice that 11 to 15 now will have one frequency value and then the 51 to 55 
will have 2. So we can now see that our frequency function is functioning well. Okay. Now let me uh, give another example using the salary bracket. So I will highlight this one from N3 to N11. And then in on the formula bar equals frequency data array. So if you know the uh, data array, you don't need to highlight. So from C3 to C52, comma, your bin from M3 to M11. Anyway, you you can counter check if the exact values were uh, highlighted. Close parenthesis and then control shift enter. So we now have the age bracket. There are uh, customers uh, having great, less than or equal to 30,000. There are 18 and there are only two who have more than 111,000. Okay. Now that we have the frequency distribution of age and salary and you would like this one to be placed in a document, then you just need to highlight the table, copy, and then paste it in your document. Okay, you just need to make necessary adjustments of your column widths if you want to and other formatting commands that you can apply in a table when you have it in Microsoft Word. Okay, that's all about frequency distribution. So for our next uh, discussion, I would like to demonstrate to you how to prepare a histogram. So histogram is the chart that we can use for a frequency distribution table. Uh, there are two ways that I would like to demonstrate to you using directly the histogram chart. Uh, under the insert tab of Excel and the analysis tool of uh, Microsoft Excel which is one of the add-ins of Microsoft Excel now so let me de demonstrate preparing histogram using uh, the insert statistic chart so first you highlight the data values And then under insert tab you select insert statistic chart and then histogram so you now have this one i'll just move the chart to another sheet for better uh, discussion you can change chart element if you want to like data labels okay so you already have the values here i'll uh, I'll, I'll just Click on this and then I can change the bin width. Currently, the bin width is so 17 to 32 is 15. I would like to have a bin width of 5. So press enter. You notice that the data bars automatically adjust, including the x axis values. That now we have 17 to 22, 7, uh, 22 to 27, and so on and so forth. Okay. So that's how we can prepare uh, the histogram. Now you can change the chart title. Say for example, the chart title would be age uh, frequency distribution or customers frequency distribution according to age. Okay. Then change, for example, the color of your bars and other things. So that's how we can prepare a histogram using the insert statistic chart. My next demonstration is how to prepare using the analysis tool pack. Actually, I already have here the data analysis and in even a solver uh, add-in in my Microsoft Excel. But how do we add uh, these two or other add-ins we go to file 
options and then we have add ins here so i have an analysis tool pack take note there are other add ins that you can uh, add here and then click go okay what are your add ins that you would like to include actually i already included analysis tool pack and uh, solver solver add-ins but you can have other uh, add-ins available here so i'll just click ok so you have the data analysis and the solver so now we prepare the histogram using data analysis the data analysis by the way is f normally used for all statistical functions or computations that's why if you click the data analysis under the data tab you will have ANOVA, single factor, correlations, covariance, descriptive statistics, and so on and so forth. Okay, so you have the moving average, regression, so if you're moving average when you would like, for example, to uh, prepare a forecast. Okay, so and then the t-test uh, period, and so on and so forth. So, if you notice these are all statistical functions now anyway going back to histogram i'll click histogram on this analysis tools click ok and then what would be the input range assuming that i don't have any input range here i'll click on this and then highlight the data values for my age go back to the histogram dialog box select my bin range click and then my bin range will be this one 15 to 70 go back okay take note since i did not choose any label then i will not click on this because i directly highlighted the data values the numeric values or the bin and then where will you place your output will it be on an output range okay, be sure that you have the correct output range if you uh, put it here or i'm sorry for that output range you have to select this one or you would like to place it uh, in a new worksheet or in another workbook okay so let me just change this one the input range i will select it again so b3 to b52 while your bin range should be uh, i3 to i14 then our output option i'll just use new worksheet ply including the chart output click ok so we now have uh, the table for our frequency distribution including the histogram and so you just need to edit this one say for example adjusting the values or since you, this pertains to age bracket then you can just edit age bracket okay uh, edit this one this should be uh, 11 to 15. Notice I placed the single apostrophe there so that this value will not be converted into a date. Because when once I don't have the single apostrophe there, uh, this value will be changed into Nove November 15. Okay. So let me just show you. If I forgot to... Uh, So we have 16 to 20 and then this is 21 to 25 and so on and so forth okay do other formatting here like putting a bracket or changing the alignment here to center okay go to edit also the graph you can hide if you want to place it here you can just change the 
the size of your chart or you can place it in another sheet for example okay. then do necessary uh, adjustments say for example the label should not be histogram instead you would have customers frequency distribution according to age okay so then for example you need to add labels like uh, putting the labels inside so you have that or having the uh, data table if you want to so you have the data table here and other formatting options for your graph so that's how we can create histogram in two ways okay and I hope you learned something new in this presentation, particularly uh, the preparation of frequency distribution table and preparing the histogram. Okay, so God bless everyone.